friends, it's Nancy, and I'm just doing a short video today to talk about what it is exactly that I journal. So, um, I think I mentioned in my last video that I'm working on my journal for this year. I'm behind, of course, like usual. Um, and I am using this old book. It's from, I think, I think it's over 100 years old anyway. So I've started working on it, um, and I've got most of the signatures together, and I've even picked out the paper that I want to use for the, uh, the, the end pages. I think it really matches the, the cover image really well. It's um, Tim Holtz. Okay, now let's see if we can keep my sniff and nose under control, and I hope I stay centered. Let me have one more look. There we go. Okay, so I've gotten a couple of my journals from the last three or four years out um, to show you some of the things that I do journal and maybe something unusual that you hadn't thought about journaling. So here's a few ideas. So this is a page. Um, this is a china pattern that I would love to get the full set of. So I've put in a drawing of what it looks like. Um, I've made a list of the dishes that I want and I've checked off the ones that I have. I actually saw some of this this past weekend when I was in um, Niagara Falls. No, I was in New York in hmm, Tonawanda probably, something like that. And I did see some, but it was really, really poor condition, so I didn't get any. Um, so that's one idea. So if I am out shopping and I see, oh, they've got teacups, I can look and say, oh, well, I only need one. Or, you know, um, or I only need three more cereal bowls. So that's one idea. Let's see where we are here. This is a uh, list of books that I read. So I just um, wrote in the uh, title and the author as I got through my book. So it's back here. Oh, uh, I have this covered for privacy, but um, this was uh, a goal. I wanted to eat more fruit. I'm terrible at eating fruit. I'm really good at coffee, not so good at, you know, healthy. So my, uh, my goal that for that month was to eat more fruit so I had a page to remind me and whenever I had fruit that had a sticker on it I would put the sticker on the pages um, so that's that this is a journal for work so beg your pardon sorry I'm sniffing I'm still sick and hubby's sick too um, got, he's on antibiotics and prednisone for his chest now uh, anyway, so um, this is some notes on some reading I had done. Um, I think I've mentioned before in um, other videos that I'm a social worker. Um, I just recently completed my master's degree, and um, I've I've always had social work students, sometimes multiple social work students, doing their practicums with me. And, um, so this is a, a, this is some information that I wanted to make sure I passed on to my students and about, you know, being an adult and taking responsibility for your learning and that sort of thing. Um, this is some notes about, uh, welcoming new staff. So I had, um, actually hired new staff and I wanted to think about, you know, how... What kind of a culture do we have around um, welcoming new people into our our workplace? Um, so I did some reading about it. There's a couple of articles here that I, I wrote some notes about it. But uh, so this gave me some ideas and to make a plan about how I was going to um, welcome our new staff member. Um, what's this? Oh, this is notes from a, um, 
a one day symposium about um, indigenous legal traditions. So I just hand wrote my notes in here during the day and, and you know, draw a little, um, little diagrams that help me understand, remember stuff. Um, like I said, I'm just giving you a few examples. I don't want to bore you too much. Uh, this is one that I have in every journal, so I can keep a, a list of things that I need. And then this is just a post-it, so I can take it out and change it every week. And uh, this is um, a meal planning, and again, I can write out my meal plans, make my shopping list, and then after the week's over, I can take them out and do it all over again. That seems to be the hardest thing for me is... Coming home and thinking, oh my gosh, I gotta feed these people again. At this time, um, when I did this journal, I had my youngest son was still living at home. And if it was just me, I would have a bowl of Cheerios and call it dinner. I couldn't care less about food. <laughs> but men seem to, I mean, they seem to like it for some reason. Um, so here's some planning notes. So this is when I was planning um, for my convocation when I received my uh, degree. So I attended the University of Calgary, and but I live in Ontario. Um, so I had to make plans to be in Calgary for convocation. So I have my rental car, the flights, what hotel we were staying at, what the itinerary was for the, for the day of convocation. Um, lots of places I have just um, pictures that I've drawn and colored in with pencil crayon and um, a, a quote that's meaningful to me. So I have lots of um, uh, examples of that throughout my journals. And here's another pl planning page. I was thinking, I had, when I just finished my um, my degree, I was thinking about working in the UK for a year. Um, so I did, uh, I did start to look at the hows to do that um, and registered with recruiting agencies, had interviews. Um, actually on the day of convocation, I got a call about a position in Oxfordshire, but I didn't end up taking it. Um, and I didn't end up working abroad. So anyway, that's, uh, just, you know, organizing my steps um, and, you know, thinking about why I wanted to do this. Oh, well, this was just a, a blanket I was um, knitting for a friend's grandson. Um, and it was a very simple pattern. It was just, there were seven rows of pattern or something like that. Um, another inspirational quote. Um, it was at this time in this journal I got interested in um, the idea of Huga. I'm, I'm not sure if many of you have heard about that, but um, in it was it's kind of a trend that happened last year. It's, you still see it. Um, the idea being that you intentionally um, enjoy small pleasures and, um, and you know, embrace uh, a lifestyle that, that link this whole coziness and self-care together. Um, so I just, you know, put in some things about, you know, what that... Uh, what that might look like. And I was reading the book at the time, and here was, okay, garbage, glad, something, and it means happiness at work. So I was thinking, you know, how can I um, bring this whole concept of Huga to the office? So um, here was some ideas, and I did a lot of these things. So I have my, I had no plants because I'm terrible at keeping plants, but I brought in a bunch of succulents and they've been alive for almost two years now. Um, I brought in a lamp for my desk. I don't use the fluorescence anymore. Um, lunch hours, yeah, I'm still bad. I'm still 
working through. Um, I have hardly never take breaks. Um, I did get a, a chair, so if I was reading something, I could move. And it was it was um, an IKEA chair, the one of the prong chairs. Um, so I did bring in one of those, so that if I was reading something, I could move from my desk to the chair, put my feet up. Um, and I did have that for a long time, and then recently I moved it to a colleague's office. Um, I don't know why, because I'm crazy. Um, music, I always have music on, and talking about bonding with colleagues. So, um, so, uh, I, that's still not great. Um, I'm so busy that I don't have a lot of time. Um, sometimes we'll plan events like there is a, an ice rink right across the street from our office. So sometimes I'll you know, shoot out an email, hey everybody bring your skates, we're going to go skating tomorrow at lunch or um, something, you know. Uh, tomorrow we're having a, a holiday lunch together because we didn't do anything pre-Christmas. so. We're, we're all, um, uh, we've all agreed to meet together tomorrow at noon so that we can all sit down and have lunch together. Anyway, it's, it's a, it's a process. And at, at the time, I was doing more cooking, so I have some, the, some meal plans here. And I kept a, made a list of herbs and spices that I had on hand. And then, as I needed them, I would add them to the list, so they would they would go on my shopping list and then get added to this list. Because I kept finding that I had like, you know, three bottles of chili powder or <laughs> you know, two things of onion salt. It, it, you know, every kind of paprika known to man and God I had. So this was helpful to have on hand. <laughs> Um, then I committed to a, uh, what I call 100 Days of Huga. So, um, it intentionally setting aside time or intentionally doing certain activities. So, um, on, it's the start of May 24th, 23rd. So, the first day it said drinks after work at the boathouse with Jordan, Shannon, and Luke. Uh, so sweet to see the baby geese in the park. So the the boathouse is in, it's a, um, I don't want to say it's a bar, but it's, you know, a cafe that serves liquor. Um, and they have like a patio area outside. And it's in a, it's in a public park um, where there's a, a river kind of going through it and a lake, um, bridges and things. And... Uh, so that, and that's the time for, for baby geese. Um, oh. Uh, where's another? Today I gave myself permission to take the afternoon off to relax, rest, recharge, and read my book. Um, I was on vacation at the time. And sometimes I use my vacation to do, to catch up on stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you can see I, you know, added pictures. Lavender, I love lavender. I love coffee. <laughs> um, and here I made myself a little summer Huga bingo. So I was going to, you know, try to do all those things. Um, Here I said, uh, another great day at the office. Hugo is changing my practice. Uh, Jordan is away at music festival. So it's pizza and Netflix for me and Doug. This is the life. You know, so I just kind of um, captured some thoughts and, uh, and little pictures that made me happy. Um, Breathe in the inspiration and trust yourself. The answer is yes, you can. So I did do um, the whole hundred. <laughs> anyway, so that's what I journal about. I hope you 
find that interesting or um, give you, gives you some ideas about what you might want to capture in your journal. Um, and, you know, even if you don't really want to do those kinds of things, other pages that I do is I have a list of my passwords for certain websites. Um, I have a list of my husband's medications um, and his doctors and specialists. And I, he's he doesn't have great health right now, or and hasn't for some time. So just um, always having that list and the contact information for all of his healthcare professionals is really important. Um, I have a list of addresses, so people I send cards to or, um, you know, want to, want to keep on my, my uh, snail mail list. I have their addresses and I also keep track of my social media, so how many people are following, how, how often I'm posting, that sort of thing, um, just to kind of keep me engaged and, um, and just watching how my social media presence is growing. So that's, um, that, keep, that keep, gives me more uh, inspiration. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I will um, be back with a thrift haul. Take care.